When Tony Stark snapped his fingers, he not only broke our hearts, but he effectively wiped out Thanos and his entire ugly crew. But there's one big green question mark left after the ordeal, and I'm not talking about the Incredible Hulk. During this battle, you have to remember that Gamora was technically with Thanos at the beginning. So when Tony dusted all the aliens from 2014, how did Tony know not to snap Gamora out of existence? Did the gauntlet sense that Gamora was a good guy and spared her, or did Tony actually purposefully save her life? Let's discuss. There was so much going on in that final endgame battle that it's kind of hard to keep track of stuff. Like, did you know that Howard the Duck is now officially an Avenger? Anyway, let's focus on what 2014's Gamora was doing during this time. The green-skinned assassin just had her entire world turned upside down when she found out a future version of her sister had appeared in her timeline. But that wasn't even the crazy part. The really mind-blowing thing to Gamora was that this future nebula was actually nice and claimed the two of them had a good relationship. It wasn't long before Gamora betrayed Thanos and fought with the Avengers to save the universe. But there's one big question that many fans had after watching the movie. Did 2014 Gamora get dusted alongside the rest of her 2014 buddies? We don't see her again in the theatrical cut, but thanks to a deleted scene that was released later, we know that Gamora did indeed survive the snap and left immediately after the battle was over. Probably because she didn't want to help with the cleanup. That battle did look quite messy. There's no vacuum in the world that could clean up all those new dust piles. So how did Tony know to spare Gamora's life when he snapped his fingers? In that epic moment, as the power of the Infinity Stones coursed through his body, it seemed like Tony Stark only thought one thing. I want to get rid of Thanos and all the people from the 2014 timeline, but also make sure Thanos is one of the last people dusted for dramatic effect. Steve would totally love that. Something along those lines would make the most sense, right? But in the end, Gamora was left alive, seemingly the only survivor from 2014. Did the Stones know that Gamora was a good guy, or was Tony actually smart enough to save her life? Because we all know how much of a genius Tony is. He's the guy who became an expert in thermonuclear astrophysics overnight after all. I don't think it's too crazy to think that Tony actually knew to spare Gamora when he was snapping his fingies. Think back to when the movie started. Tony Stark and Nebula were the only two people left on Titan after the dusting, and then the two of them spent weeks together on the Benatar trying to get back to Earth. Surely they didn't spend all their time playing paper football, right? Tony is the most talkative person on the planet, so surely he was able to coax some words out of Nebula. And don't forget, although Nebula likes to silently seethe in anger most of the time, she can be quite the chatterbox in certain situations. Remember her whole monologue about Thanos and Guardians of the Galaxy Part 2? Yeah, I imagine after wearing down her defenses with an onslaught of quips and one-liners, Tony got Nebula to open up about Gamora. And then Nebula spent the next few days talking about her non-stop. Which means that when the time came for Tony to snap his fingers and wipe out Thanos, he was able to either consciously or subconsciously remember Gamora was a good guy and spared her from turning to dust. Or even if you don't think Tony was capable of thinking about Gamora in that one moment, how about you consider this? When all the stones were placed in Tony's bite-sized gauntlet, he basically became a god for a few seconds. Imagine the infinite knowledge that suddenly surged through every bone in his body. I think that level of power should mean he was strong enough to only snap away his enemies and not Gamora. His whole life probably flashed before his eyes, and his genius intellect paired with the massive boost from the stones allowed him to assess the situation and only snap away those who truly deserved it. Hey, who knows, maybe besides Gamora, there was another no-named soldier in Thanos' army who secretly didn't want to be there and was also saved by Tony. And that is now my official headcanon. So what now? We didn't really get to see a proper resolution to Gamora's storyline. Again, because the scene where we see Gamora alive after the snap was cut out of Endgame, it took a while to actually confirm she was still there. I would guess that this search for Gamora would be the main plot of Guardians of the Galaxy 3, but you never know. If Tony was smart enough to save Gamora, could he possibly have had the power to do other things? What if there were other stipulations that Tony was able to make when he snapped his fingers? Like, imagine if he willed for Gamora's original memories to be given back to 2014 Gamora. Is that even possible with the stones? If those six stones are capable of rewriting the entire universe by eliminating half of it, then surely they have the power to perform a little bit of Inception, right? 
Plus, we know from Endgame that timelines are a weird thing. If you take something out of its original timeline, you cause a whole host of problems. That should imply that Gamora needs to go back to her 2014 timeline, but what if the universe shrugs that off and instead course corrects itself to make 2014 Gamora into Gamora Prime? Ah, uh, oh boy, my brain is starting to hurt. No matter what the case is, I'm just happy we still have a Gamora who can roll her eyes at Star-Lord. Well, do you think Tony thought about Gamora when he was snapping his fingers, or was he just focused on his epic last line? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome MCU content just like this. As always, thanks a lot for watching.